and tip number four. Well, uh, we made it back from a two week vacation and with that, I don't have a lot of new content to push out to YouTube. So, uh, trying to think, what do I wanna do? The weather's been nasty, so I can't even really shoot. Um, so I just kinda wanted to maybe do like um, tips on what made me or what I felt helped me become a better photographer. First tip is, um, find a photographer that you like or find a style that you want to emulate and work towards emulating that. I really wanted to learn off camera flash. I wanted to get better in that aspect. And so I found um, a couple YouTubers that I really liked their work and I just kind of dove into their sites. And I don't know, it took me a while, but I figured things out. I'll actually link the YouTubers that I really liked um, below. Um, and then there's a couple of other content creators that I really liked, and I think that helped me realize that there's more to it and that there's kind of a grind to this thing. So tip number two would be Practice, 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 practice. And as cliche as it is, practice does help you. It does make you better. So that's kind of what I did was, once I kind of figured out what I wanted to do, I needed to be able to practice that. And to practice, you need to practice more than like once a month, more than once a week. I practice three, four times a week. By practice, I don't mean just getting your camera and going out and shooting anything. I actually mean shooting what you're going to shoot. For me, I'm a senior photographer and I'm a dance photographer. And so the way that I was able to get better at that was shooting with seniors and dancers. I do work with models and that really kind of helped me with learning to pose. Um, so that really helps with the portraits and the seniors that I work with. Um, something else that I actually created because I needed to be able to consistently work with teens and seniors was like a, a senior rep program or a teen rep program. And basically that just allowed me to, to be able to work with them as much as I wanted, really, because they were getting photos for it. And I got paid for it a little bit too. So at, at the beginning, I charged a little bit less. And they would work with me multiple times throughout the year, allowing me to get better, allowing them to get photos. Doing that kind of stuff actually can help you practice what you're going to do. I work with models consistently uh, to keep up my skill set and to learn new posing and new ideas for how I want to pose uh, the people that I work with. Tip number two is to practice, 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 practice. Tip number three that can help you become a better photographer, and this is the one that's gonna cost money, but it greatly helped my work. Buy the glass that you can afford. Uh, you can always go cheap. A lot of times newer photographers, they kind of go cheap on that because you know they're not bringing in money and, and I completely get that. I'm not saying, you know, go right out there and buy a $2,000 lens, but you have lenses that are get, built more for the beginner, lenses that are built more for somebody that's bringing in money. And if you're actually starting to bring in money with your photography, I highly, highly, highly recommend start buying the lenses that you can afford. I had the Nifty 50, you know, that was one of the first decent portrait lenses I, I had, and that was like $125. Um, it's a great lens, but it has issues. And so from there, I went to like a more intermediate level lens, like a Sigma Art 50 millimeter or the Sigma Art 85 millimeter 1.4. Massive difference on what it actually helps you create. Um, and from there, I kind of started, you know, I was working with those for a while, and I really just got to a point where I thought, you know what? I feel like my work is at this level. These lenses are keeping my work here. So I want the best lens that I can have that's gonna give me the content that I'm happy with to provide to my clients. So what I would say is to bring your game, your photo game up to a completely different level, buy the lenses that you can afford or buy the lenses that the money that's coming in are, will allow you to buy. Um, if you can't afford the $2,000 lens, there's a thousand dollar option. 
If you can't afford the $1,000 option, maybe look at the $500 option. But don't go with the cheap glass. The cheap glass looks cheap. Spend the money that you're able to spend to get you the quality that you need. Bonus tip, this one I actually don't do enough of, is you know that it's a grind, it's gonna be a grind, but it can't be your every day. Take time for yourself, bike ride, go to the gym, find a new hobby, um, figure out something that's going to take you away from everything that you're doing to try to press and become better. Um, you do have to take a break. You, you can burn out. It's funny because I actually asked my wife just earlier today, you know, she said, you know, this is a great bonus tip. And I thought, but I haven't burned out. And she said, her reply was, but she has. So remember, you have family and you have friends and they wanna be part of your life. And if you're constantly grinding and you're constantly editing, shooting, editing, shooting, this, that, you don't have time for them and you're not making time for them. So maybe you don't burn out, but they do. If you like what you see, hopefully you've liked and subscribed. If you haven't, please do so now. Um, my hope is to continue to do this. Uh, I didn't actually really feel like I had time this week to do this just because of vacation, bad weather, but I gotta do it. It is part of the grind and it's something that I'm really wanting to try to do is more video for YouTube. So hopefully you like the video. Hopefully it's short and sweet. Um, next week should be back to video shooting or I should say photography. So until next time, keep shooting and thanks for the support. Thank you.